Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages. A little impromptu video, and this is going to be done live. So, my friend Billy from Chicago hit me up and asked him about some troubleshooting with his Pro Dash inputs logging onto his Terminator X. So, I took a look at his tune file and his catalog. Couldn't quite find, I mean, I could find the problem, but couldn't find the solution easily. So, I decided to start tinkering and see what I could get. So, here we have my tune file, and we're going to go to inputs and outputs ICF. And in here, you'll see I have four of my inputs, six total. I have, you know, my flex and my dome input, but I have crankcase pressure coolant pressure, right? Because those are better than knock sensors. Uh, we can detect unstable combustion before it becomes a problem. Uh, relying on knock sensors is like finding out your wife is cheating on you by sitting in the wet spot on the bed. Uh, and then trans temp and oil temp are also in there. So if you don't have the IO ICF, you just go to the toolbox, add into individual configuration, and go to the IO one. There we go. And we have the IO, the EGT, and the something for the and for for the LT motors. But anyways, we have the IO ICF. To so add them, click on enable, and then put a name in it. Right. So trans temp, oil temp, whatever the case is, and change it to can. Some of these other ones are going to be for the CAN I.O. box itself. Once it's in there, going to go to configuration, and we're going to switch back and forth between the Terminator and the car. Now, one of the things I found out when I was testing this, you have to be, for the Pro Dash, you have to be on version 6, the newest software, and it works with version 1, 2, or 3 on the Terminator X. I am on version 2, Billy is on version 3, but it worked for me on version 2. So, when you find that information, is on the Pro Dash. Go to, right? Go to configuration, go to about, and then right up here it says version six. Okay, if it's not version six, if it's five, I had five in here before, but go ahead and update it. There's plenty of videos already on that. Another note is that when I updated my software, it changed, or erased some of these configurations. So, Billy, I had to redo some of this stuff just to help you out. But, trans temp, right? And oil temp, y'all probably should have seen that in some other videos of mine. Go down to this little gear and make sure all that lines up with the numbers that you get from Brandon, right? Because if you're not using low dollar sensors, what the even are you doing with your life? All right, boom, boom, boom. All this should be good, right? On the dash, the last thing you need, go to the about and you need your CAN ID number. Mine, in this case, is 1551 in here. And we're looking at, let's just use trans temp as a good example. We'll go to configure and can settings, can device one. It has to say pro dash inputs, A or B. These other stuff, figure it out, right? So for that, we want pro dash input A and our trans temp we have wired into IO4. So we want input four. We are on CAN bus one. If you are on Terminator or HP, select CAN bus 1. If you are a dominator, you can put CAN bus 1 or 2. And then here we have our CAN ID number 1551. For the sensor scaling, if you want, select one of these guys down here from this drop down. I went to raw so I could fully configure it. Units, I put degrees Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit for all countries that have landed on the moon with people. And because I don't do real good with math, I want, I don't want any decimal points. But if you want up to three decimal points, you can put that in there. Leave it as format one for me, for myself. Sensor minimum for the trans temp. Trans temp is an older temp sensor, right? He's discontinued it, blah, blah. I have sensor minimum of negative 40, sensor maximum of 500. However, if my trans gets to 500 degrees, I got bigger problems. I don't really care to see that far up. So I only want to see up to We'll go 300, and then my caution is going to start at 220. Boom. So that gives me where my gauge starts and stops at, and where the green is good from negative 40. If we're at negative 40, I shouldn't even be outside. But up to 300. That's it. Save it. Remember, don't save it just as whatever. Save it as a new file type. Do that for all of the inputs that you want 
your ECU to, to log. I have more, but I don't care about the ECU logging it, like fuel level, left turn, right turn, high beams, blah, blah. I don't care if the ECU logs that. Now, this is where the video that I used as an example left off at and forgot about. And when I followed the video, it didn't work. If I went into here and said, where is it used? It would say, trans temp input is not used. If it registers as that it is not used, it the ECU is going to ignore it when it comes to data logging. So I put, simply went to an advanced table that I was not using, advanced table four, used the x-axis as trans temp, y-axis as, as oil temp, and I had all zeros in here, so it does absolutely nothing. Just gives that input right there something to do. Now, once you've gotten all that set up, once you've gotten all that set up, so in here I have trans temp and oil temp in there, and I have crankcase and coolant pressure, your next step is going to be doing a log. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do is we are going to test everything that we've done so far. We're gonna make a little data log, and then we're gonna look at it and make sure that our inputs are in there. So we will go ahead and click the little clipboard thing. We'll let it run for a few seconds. We will click it again and then we'll come in here and you can see I've been doing some tests already. We will save it and then let's go to the data log and look at it. All right, once we're in here, you can go down to edit views and you'll see that I ha already have pro dash inputs for those four values. If you don't, you know, if you don't have a cleared out one, I got rid of nitrous, I see it, or the nitrous deal, right? Because it's not 1994 anymore. We don't need nitrous. We have turbos. Cheap turbos from China and some Holly EFI. But anyways, if you don't, find your input, drag it over here. Boom, 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 bingo. Robert's your mother's brother. Hit OK. Go down here. Change to that. Here we have. Zero coolant PSI. 82 trans temp and 124 because I was running the engine for a little bit. Boom, boom, right, all gravy. All right, so that's it. We verified that our efforts from before work, and then we're ready to go to uh, we're ready to go to LS Fest in Bowling Green. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Like, comments, subscribe, all the deals. And shirts and stickers are in the merch. The Shopify store down at the bottom. If you come out to, uh, I'm out of stickers right now, but if you come out to LS Fest, I will um, take a selfie or whatever. I'll sign an autograph. Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.